Okay, so this is part two of the Armenian Genocide activity. This one focuses, we've, we've, we've gone through the explanation, the background, the basic experience, the tragic experience of it. Now we're going to, and the first thing you should be doing is watching the 60 Minutes um, Ed Puzzle video. Um, it really dives into, really dives into uh, some of the, 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 first, the, the retrospective of it. Um, and why Turkey has denied this, um, and, and why they try to bury this, and and so on. Um, the second piece of this is that uh, I'd like you to take a look at some of the, we need to take a look at some of these primary source documents. Um, these primary source documents are from the time period um, that obviously um, written by people who you know experienced um, this from two different perspectives. One either a, a three different perspectives, excuse me, either a perpetrator, a victim, or an eyewitness, okay? Perpetrator, the, the, you know, one of the, the Turks, the Ottoman Turks, obviously victim, people who are victims of this, and then, of course, an eyewitness. So here you're going to, you're going to pick four in addition to, four in addition to the, the two that I'm going to go through. Get the two down that I go through, the A and B, but you're going to pick four in addition to, and the, and the documents are over are over here, and, and thinking about what we know. And the, everything should be in complete senses except for the part about the, the perpetrator and the victim. Okay? So let's look at the first one. Um, remember I told you Talat Pasha was the, uh, the, the new young Turk, uh, the head of the, the Turks and um, the Minister of the Interior, um, Talat Pasha, and um, the prefecture of Aleppo. Aleppo is one of the uh, cities in the Ottoman Empire. So the, uh, you have already been advised that the government, by the order of the, um, excuse me, Jamiat, has decided to destroy completely all the indi indicated persons, Armenians, living in Turkey. All those who oppose this decision and command cannot remain on the official staff of the empire. So what he's saying is, put up or shut up. Either you you um, are going to be part of uh, you're going to be part of this this final solution, or you are not going to be um, able to um, be part of this. Uh, you're not going to you're going to be um, kicked out. So their existence may come to an end, however tragic their means may be, and and no regard must be paid to either age, sex. Or conscientious scruples, meaning like you know what their morals are or anything like that. So um, the question becomes, um, and, and and he's the, the minister of the interior, Talat, uh, the head of the, the the Ottoman Turks at this point in time, um, taking over for the uh, the Sultan. So um, and really running the the Ottoman Empire. So the question is, of course, since he's the government, the, the chief government official is whether or not he is a perpetrator or an eyewitness. Of course, we would say that he is a, of course, we would say that he is a perpetrator, right? And some of this might not carry over. And please, you know, maybe put this in a color other than black. Maybe we need to make this a little smaller. So we'll make this 12. Maybe I'm just a little bit bigger. So 14. And then, um, I explain how this personal narrative and that route. I, for, I did forget to mention one thing. Keep in mind what we got going on up here. Um, keep in mind that the, the definition of genocide and was it really genocide? So what perspective is each narrative coming from? The perpetrator victim or eyewitness? And what does it tell you about Armenian genocide? How does this do, um, illustrate the definition of genocide? What conditions are being described? So we're continuing to find that United Nations uh, definition of genocide, killing members of a group, causing serious bodily mental harm to the members of the group, deliberately inflicting other conditions of life okay, to bring about its physical destruction. So keep in mind these Keep in mind these various um, definitions as you're going along or forcibly transferring children as you're thinking about this. So we know that this was he was a perpetrator um, and he's talking about anybody who poses this decision um, um, cannot remain on the official staff. You have to you have to be going along with the fact that we've just we're going to decide to destroy completely all the Armenians living in Turkey, no matter what that no matter by whatever means possible, basically. So the question is, how does this personal narrative it, it illustrate the definition of genocide? Well, 
clearly clearly stated. Clearly stated the government the government of Turkey, right, intended to destroy or I guess the better word would be to eliminate the Armenian population living there, right? Go through and right click and fix some of my spelling, sorry. The Armenian population living there. So let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's make that a little bit smaller. So it fits a little better. And then make it I'll call it in black, so I'll make it red. So who do you what do you what did you I'm gonna erase this so it gets out of my way? All right, back to the tab. What did you learn about the Armenian genocide in this narrative or excerpt? Um, we learned that Talat Pasha wasn't going to allow, so Turkey was not going to allow um, people opposing, opposed to the genocide, genocide to stay in the government, right? So you have to, you have to get on board or get out. And um, he or um, Pasha a lot ordered the end of the existence of the Armenians by any means necessary, right? Whatever that might be, of course, forced marches, mass shootings. Um, burning. We'll, we'll, we'll look at. We'll look at. You, you've seen a, a, a lot of those examples, un, unfortunately, um, and you will see more of them. Okay, let's look at B together. And this one's a little longer. Edward Rakubian, narrative B. We walked for many days. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. Um, hopefully it works. Nope, not going to work. So we'll have to. We'll have to. Um, I'm going to zoom this in. To 100 so we can see it a little bit better and I'll have to zoom it back out. Um, Edward Recrubian, we walked for many days, occasionally running across small lakes and rivers. After a while, we saw corpses on the shores of these lakes. Then we began seeing them along the path, twisted corpses, blackened by the sun, and bloated. Their, their stench was horrible. Many days later, we reached the Euphrates River. Um, the Euphrates River, remember the Tigris Euphrates, this is roughly where Armenia is and it, as part of the Fertile Crescent. And despite the hundreds of bodies floating in, the, in it, we drank from it. We quenched our thirst for the first time since our departure. So the, clearly he's describing some sort of march, right? They put us on small boats and we crossed to the other side. From there, we walked all the way to Rasu Al Rasu Alim, excuse me, of a caravan of nearly 10,000 people. There were now some 300, 300 of us left out of a caravan of 10,000, 300 left. My aunt, my sisters, my brothers had all died or disappeared. Only my mother and I were left. We decided to hide and take refuge with some Arab nomads. My mother died there under their tents. They did not treat me well. They kept me hungry and beat me often and branded me as their own. So they they did not treat me well. They kept me hungry. So my mother died under their tents. They did not treat me well. They and, and, and branded me as their own. So basically they're trying to convert him, right? The, the Turks are trying to convert this. So he was a... a, a, a um, seems to be maybe a, a younger um, child um, it, it, from the sounds of it. Um, so clearly, who is this, the the, the, um, the perspective here, the victim, right? Um, we know that, how is this narrative uh, illustrated definition of a genocide? Well, we know they were, they were transferring, they were um, in, deliberately inflicting conditions calculated to bring about physical destruction, um, they were um, they were trying to prevent. They were forcibly transferring people. So this was the Armenians were the Armenians were sent on marches with the intent to have them die from various means, right?
Oops. I'll do that. Um, have them sent on these marches. Typing this on my surface so it's not very. And then I'm going to make it 12 so I can make it more visible. And then I'll make it a different color. Okay. So clearly they were sent, and this is, um, and this, so the intent was to destroy them, right? And that was, so, th so this column basically is, how does this demonstrate, connect to the, the definition, go keep going back to the definition of uh, genocide, and this is what did you learn? Well, what did we learn here? Um, that we learned that um, basically that some of these Armenians took, some of these Armenians took refuge with nomads, right? And and um, that's basically what it's saying here. Excuse me. Is is he he basically hid right? So let's reread that. So basically, um, we quenched our thirst. We put on some cross field from there. We walked all the way. My aunts, my, they all just my, my mother and I were left. We did. We took refuge with some other Arab nomads, not Armenians. Um, so they weren't captured. Excuse me. They they died under their tents, but they did not they did not treat me well. They kept me hungry, beat me often. So not even these these Armenians uh, these Arabs treated him well. But um, um, it was still it was still some refuge, right, from being out and out killed. So and and so some Armenians um, took refuge with other nomads, right. to hide from their Turkish killers. And they, and they as we saw, they come they came across Armenians that are coming across came across bodies of those who had already died on their marches. Unfortunately, right? Let's change that to died. So this is this is what this is what we, we see. That you should get these two down. Your job is to do your excuse me. Your job is to look at four others. There are C D E zoom out. There are you can zoom that in D so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. So four out of the seven. And here are these documents again: perpetrator, eyewitness, victim. How does it relate to the to the year, um, definition of genocide in a sentence? And then a sentence or two on how what did you learn about the Armenian genocide through that narrative or excerpt? Keeping in mind who some of these people are. So, like again, some of the, some of these people are are victims and so on. And then um, Talat Pasha, remember Talat Pasha is the is that um, minister of the interior, the prefecture of Aleppo. Aleppo is the is the city. In, um, in in one of the cities in the Armenian Empire, or it is part of um, it is part of what today would be <clears throat> um, Syria. Excuse me. That, that this in this area down here, it would be part of that. So, um, keeping in mind the prefecture is like a, a regional governor um, as as we go along, and then and then. Um, an organization that collaborated the British against the Turks. Uh, so keep in mind again, Talat Pasha, Minister of the Interior. Talat, he's the he's the head of the the, the Ottoman Turks, basically. Um, as we're, as we're thinking about this, um, and remember that. Let me go back to. Let me let's see if I can go back to this. If it if it opens up, go back to part one. We talked about who Talat Pasha was. I can't find this rapid, and I'm just going to kind of give up on it. Okay, keep in mind who part one, who Talat Pasha was. He was the um, the one in the green, um, and basically um, the the leader of the, the the of the Young Turks with um, was Talat Pasha, and he was a leader of the Young Turks, and at this time considered Ministry of the Interior, and really was the major driver, remember, behind the the killing of the Armenians. Um, and this was your timeline from from 1894 um, as we go along here, trying to remember where. Um, 
where this takes place. Let me, if you give me one second, I can tell you. Don't have it on my thing. Trying to open it up on my other uh, my other computer where on part one where we explain this. My mind's opening up here. It is slide number nine. Excuse me, uh, you know. Excuse me, slide eleven. We're really talking about Salat Pasha, and in, in, in the previous in the previous video. Sorry about that. Um, it just took me a second to open it there. So again, four more. And then the 60 minutes video, and that is, and that, and that that's part two of it. The, the main premise being look at the primary source documents to get a little better understanding of of the of the genocide, of the Armenian genocide.